Hello, my loves. Welcome back. You guys know I don't typically get involved in situations like this, but there's something about this circumstance that I really feel called to share because I feel like it might be helpful in some way. Um, it's the Gabby, the Gabby Petito situation with the girl who was traveling with her boyfriend, her partner, and she is missing right now. Now you guys know the last time I did any video like this at this level, um, it was for Wendy Williams and it was for Rihanna right before I could tell that things were about to just kind of pop off really hard um, and aggressive and I thought that and I felt called to do it and I felt like I should do it because I wanted to help them with what was happening next and the same thing is how I feel with the Gabby situation and I want to talk to you guys openly and honestly about it so first things first what I'm sensing right away is high, 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 high level of anxiety. Um, it gives me, oh, there's dust on my, on my sweater. It gives me high panic, high panic. Um, I don't see this, how, how my, how my spirit is, you know, picking up on this is, um, it's like, even as I'm talking, I'm, I feel like tremors, like tremors in my voice, tremors in my body, like my body's tremoring. I feel that um, what, like I, what I feel is something that is super anxiety inducing and I definitely feel it for the, for the girl. So I feel, and I'm gonna say girl, but it's how spirit is approaching her. She has a lot of like blood, like what I'm getting, what I'm sensing is blood rushing up into the head. So this is high, high panic, high anxiety, very um, like, I don't say panic disorder, but when someone is like r running, like, or not running, but their mind is racing, like their thoughts aren't clear, they're, they're, triggered highly triggered and part of this is not 100 percent from external situations that are in, in anxiety inducing although there is a trigger there a lot of this has to do with our perception of the world something is making her something is make making her or made her panic to the point where she is in a strong state of fight fight or flight i want the spirit is clearly telling me that it's not that she senses danger um like she's seeing that there's danger um or sees that there's something it's more an internal like battle it's more an internal struggle this gives me very much people who have um panic disorder or um emotional or mental imbalances um shout out to you guys by the way if that's something that you deal with um i'm a huge supporter of that you know those who suffer in those ways but it's, but something has really uh, triggered her and all it's, um, it, but it's worse. So you guys know when you have a panic attack or a panic disorder, this is desperate level of anxiety, just knocked over to the next level. I don't know where that came from for her, but it's all, it's all in the head. It's all in the head. Um, triggered from the heart trigger. It's just fight or flight. And it goes, all this blood starts rushing into her head. And this is, to me, this is a signal of um, panic. And again, there's this really strong word that it's not panic that you know something is about to happen. Um, not panic that you know something is about to happen to you. It's just circumstances that set her off. And there's this high trigger. Um, and from that, she's operating. I do see clearly um, like a rift. Um, and when I see this rift it it gives me like i don't know why but i'm kind of getting the vibe of like oh see my like now my stomach um i feel like someone so what i what i'm hearing is someone veered off or someone is veering off to go to a gas station this is really making me uncomfortable um someone is veering off to go to the gas station or go to take a break like not take a break but take a pause um this is really making me uncomfortable. This is really making me really uncomfortable. Um, 
they veer off to go to a gas station or veer off to take a like a rest stop or something. And the reason why they're doing that is because what I can tell or what I can sense is because there's something like like it's like getting Adder not Adderall, I don't know why I said it, Adderall, like Dramamine or something like that, like something like a pill or something that you take in order to, but it's not a prescription, it's like something that you can get anywhere, um, or like a Tums or something that's there to kind of like calm a person, and I feel her, to calm her down, so it could even be something as simil like simple as like a soda or a snack and then a, a drug, like some type of like medicine, and something about yeah, I, I this is the part where spirit is saying this is where impending, like impending something. It's not uh, now. I'm feeling get, getting called to like reroute to a guy or a male. Um, watching her, watching like watching with a side eye, like um, the agi very agitated, um, agitated, irritated, annoyed. Um, watching something about her, like looking. I don't know. <laughs> I just heard like Pringles um something about her looking for a snack something for her like looking for a snack or whatever meanwhile she's like still kind of like upset she's still kind of like distraught and like trying to hold it together there's something like come on like this irritation um a rushing that needs to happen um or that wants to um okay well the next thing that I feel is Okay, Four of Wands just jumped out. Something feels like it's calm. It gets calm afterwards. Like something like it gets calmed afterwards. The situation gets calm. And they're, it feels like they're back on the road or there's, or there's talks about getting back on the road. Something, yeah, like what's Two of Wands, Sun card, Four of Wands. Um, I'm hearing the words, uh, oh, okay, I'm hearing the words canyon first, like canyon, like something very similar to a canyon. I'm hearing the word rift. I keep hearing the word rift. Hold on, rift definition. Yeah, rift valley. Yeah, is a linear shaped lowland between several highlands or mountain ranges. So it's the rift first and river second something about the river and there's something about um something pops off in this one's tough it's in between it's in between two things and i get this really strong sense it was during the day because it feels really it's not it's not like it's not giving me moon vibes it's giving me daytime like hardcore daytime sun dry i hear the word desperation um, so, and I hear river, rift first, river second, and my spirit wants to, like, really cry now, really wants to cry. There's this crying that's happening, hyperventilating, like, hyperventilating, crying. You go from being really anxious and really triggered, like, tumultuous triggered, like, high level of anxiety to now emotional, crying, 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 heart, heartbroken, crying. Um, and I'm getting the temple like a like a blow and I feel I don't actually feel like this is not I heard um, this is a really hard reading this is really tough for me to like even be in this um, I I hear um, the word for the male there's a lot of remorse there's a lot of remorse and it there's this um, not sh shame, but there's a lot of, um, like, acknowledgement of, like, I should have known better. Like, I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have. Um, I feel like it was an accident. Um, there's something about the temple, like a, like a fight, like a tussle, like a tussle, and then the, something about the temple. I was going to say this side of my head. Um, but I feel like it's actually this side or like one side gets hit, but the other side is impacted and it's something about the temple. What is this? 
there's something about two, like in between two different things. In between, for me, it's giving me like mountains. Yep, five of five of coins, knight of cups. I'm also getting someone who has had enough. It's there's something about the male that it's very cold. It's very. Uh, I heard the word ritualistic. We went from being like sweet, loving, to cold, distant, pulled apart, but somehow telling, telling us, telling, I'm hearing the word telling us. So it's like, it went from like a trip for us, is what I'm hearing, to like his rules, what he wants. And there's this sense of like him keeping an eye on her. Like, it's very, it feels very, I'm not trying to accuse anyone of anything, but it feels very much, and she's emotionally dependent. Um, and he just keeps this really strong eye on her. So it doesn't, even though it's it, in her mind, she's, I, it feels like she's holding on for, for the relationship. There's a sense too, like she's like, I shouldn't be here. A lot for the both of them, both of them are getting a sense of I should, I should, I should, I should. Um, but it's supposed to be this soft, loving, what like journey, like, like dream. It gives me very Pisces you know, painting this fantasy of what it could be and, you know, you're just running. But he has this strong eye on her. And it's he how he contributes it. He's, he can be very cold. And that sets something off within her. Like, I'm really getting the sense that it really sets something off within her that she just starts to fight for it. She feels so abandoned. Like, she feels so emotionally abandoned and so dependent be, on... Not because she is physically, maybe it could be a financial thing. I don't see it as something so bad that like he controls all of the finances um, or the spending. I mean, there might be that, but it almost feels very like she's giving over her power um, for the sake of emotional, uh, there's this emotional abandonment. Like I want to, I want this to work. So I'm going to do this. Meanwhile, he's like a hawk just watching in and just so like one wrong move and it could, he'll say something that would really trigger her and get her upset. And then there's this hyperventilation. So, and I get there, there's a prone to this there. She's like energetically, emotionally has a vulnerability there that she's prone to. She's highly sensitive. And that's why she's was just, I just feel this sense. There's this emphasis on like, I was trying to, I'm trying to make this work. He went from being like a really soft person to just totally cold and emotionally distant and emotionally re re removed. Three of Swords just jumped out. The straight card and the Two of Swords. That literally just proves my point. And the Hierophant, it's like, good luck trying to get some, get a word out. Talk to me about the Hierophant. Like, what is this? I keep hearing the word rift. Look in the rift. Like, look in between the rift. It's the low level, the low lying point between the two. There's two something. It's two something. And my stomach, man. Like, my stomach doesn't bode well. It doesn't bode well at all. Six of, and like, as I'm talking, my hands are shaking. Um, six of, six of pentacles. Where is she? Let's talk about that. Eight of swords. I literally proved my point. Eight of Swords reversed that. Where is she? A can canyon. Canyon. I, I was going to say calm. It's not calm. It's canyon. Ace of Swords. This doesn't feel good. I dig. Like dig. Digging. Dig. Dig. Ropes. There's oh, I don't like this. I'm going to have to close off soon because this is too much. I'm getting ropes. Some, something about the wrist. It's a hit in the head first. Um, it's in my arms. It's right here. This is a tough one. Hi, babe. <laughs> Look at Franklin knowing, knowing when to come. Hi, Bubba. He's such an angel. She, I want to ask the question.
Um, I just saw and heard a, like a wallet. Like a wallet or a wristlet. She, um, I asked, I was trying to connect. She said, look for my wallet or my wristlet. I was going to say wallet. It feels like a wristlet. Something about the wrist. Something about the wrist. Maybe it's not a rope. Maybe it's a... Um, wristlet rubber band rubber band something that goes around the wrist um i'm also seeing like a can like a can i don't know why they're showing me like a can of soda like a can of something it kind of is giving me back, bringing me back to um, the the rest drop, the rest drop, rest stop. I'm also getting a halfway point between two. It's okay. It's, it, it's I'm. I feel like this is. It feels like she's saying. Um, it's like almost to the halfway point, like almost between the halfway points who, from one destination to the next. So I was like, one, I hate to be so freaking general. And, and I'm, I don't know if it's like C Canyon or it starts with a C. Something about C. This doesn't look good though. The strength card normally isn't a negative thing in this reading, see how this girl and the beast are kind of fighting with each other? That literally sums up, sums up exactly what happened. Speak on that one if you'd like. Five of Swords. Yeah, it's a, it's a fight, bad fight. Part of it is an accident, but like a big chunk of it is an accident, but it's almost like spirit says like it's like long overdue. Like it was, it's an, an inevitable accident, but you guys shouldn't have been together. Like it's the shoulds, it's the shoulds that's messing me up. Something about the text messages though, there's a lot of text, not even a lot. There's an emphasis on the text messages, communication. That's not... That's not, if there's a text message that's being sent, look, justice card. Um, if there's a text message that's being sent, that does not feel authentic. Four of Wands, Hierophant. That, that gives me marriage vibes written all over it. It's the hope for, yeah, it's the hope for something so, to solidify within the relationship. But, and then, but meanwhile, Eight of, and I, the thing is too, I can look at both sides. The eight of swords is here. It doesn't feel like it's just one side. It doesn't feel like it's just the feminine. It's the masculine too. Both parties are feeling like this and it's like an accident, but at the same time, it's long overdue. Like how, like, what did you, it's almost like, what do you think was going to happen the way that they fight? Nine of swords. A lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiety. That totally cements everything that I was about saying. What did you think was going to happen? And now the words are cut off. Now we don't speak. Now it's like a hawk. We're very, we're going to watch first before we say. And when we say, we say it with what, yeah, with what we offer. Six of coins. It's Now it's very strategic. Speak to me on that. This has to do with a guy. Yeah, words, eight of cups. This is very strategic. The Magician card and the Eight of Cups. This is very, very strategic. It's getting me out of a dark place, getting me out of a bad place right now. It gives me very much um, accident vibes, but at the same time, it's like you kind of, even though it was an accident, you saw that you knew that it was going to be a problem, like an accident that could have been prevented. It's like getting your car, like knowing that your car is wobbling and driving on it continuing without knowing fully well that, you know, you need to get your tires redone or something and just like never doing it 
so it's like it wasn't yeah so it rained one day the situation was perfect and then all of a sudden it veered off what did you think was going to happen yeah it was an accident but and it's giving me five of wands it's giving me a blow to the head and something about the temple in the can like, i'm getting a c word in a canyon between two points and rubber bands wristlet something around the wrist let's talk about timing and then I'm off because I've already done too much. The reason why I did this reading is not for clickbait. It's because I genuinely want to help. You guys know my vibe. Can we talk about timing? And also Gabby, like, she's like, there's this like level of like crying still. It's like bent over crying. Seven of Swords, Emperor of the Moon card. What do you think? The Hermit card, Ace of Wands, Three of Cups. There's definitely going to be more coming out when it comes to the guy. Um, without a doubt. He's very hard to get it's extract anything from. It's not from a place of love anymore. It's more logic. And ju yeah, justice. Literally, I was just saying that. Justice. Like what? It's Now it's, now it's law and order. Now it's pr protecting my back. I heard the word barrier. There's a really strong barrier between between the two yeah and no Gabby what so that was literally what she was gonna say what was it it was him and literally on um, the spirit realm this makes me really sad I don't know if you guys can see my candle flicking over here like crazy but on the spirit realm what she's saying is she just wants a, like a sorry death she just wants a sorry she just and that's so wild to me I just want to hear I'm sorry and like admit it like admit it like admit it it's not even not even what he did in that moment it's before that it's before that there's a sense of like I came on this journey to be with you like I came on this journey to partner with you because we had this whole vision this whole it's very Pisces like this idealistic what we can create what we can do it's so magical it's so beautiful it's so glittering with hope and she was holding on to that and he magician card Something like some, not that it was discovered, but something set her off and made her feel very, and it was not just one thing. It's like a multitude of things. Let's talk about timing gaps. And then I'm going to just go, I, I just heard the word three to five, nine of cups, five, six, seven, eight, hmm. five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This one's tough timing so nine of cups would be nine weeks to nine months I'm hearing three to five months that's my sense ace of swords yeah I feel like we'll actually get a resolution with this one I think they need to scan that area I wouldn't it's like that whole thing of I feel like a body There's also this sense of like digging though. Where are they gonna find her? The lovers, ugh. The man. Ooh, wouldn't that be awesome if she went with a dude? She's not actually missing. Is she alive? Seven of Swords. I don't think so. Five of Swords. I don't think so. I don't know. Fingers crossed. If she... I don't think she's alive. I wish. Alright, my loves. Um, Again, I hate to drop such a morbid I guess I'm a dark video today but I really just like the whole Wendy Williams situation I know that they're not similar but I could just tell um I wanted to give help to Wendy Williams with what I was sensing and what I was picking up on and I typically allow people their privacy 
Um, same thing with Rihanna. Those are the only two celebrities, and I think R. Kelly, but those are the only two celebrities that I've, or people, public figures, that I've read for in this way because you guys know that I'm really big on privacy and protection, especially those in the public eye, especially any of my clients who are celebrity vibes. I don't typically do readings like this. Um, in the forefront, you know, but I, the reason why I felt that I would do this is because I thought that it would be helpful in some way. Um, I do wish, um, Gabby and her partner and her family and everyone involved, um, peace and strength and the word is justice, like the right, the right thing be done, you know, in, in every area. Um, there's a big thing for me about like having hope, holding on to hope, holding on to prayer and staying spiritually strong. And I'm really hoping and setting intention that this resolve itself with the highest outcome for everyone. And I'm asking for a blessing over Gabby specifically, wherever she is at right now. And as I say that, I see 000 and 111 and 0101010101. So with when in in alignment with that. So um, I typically don't follow the news. If there are any updates or anything else like that, you guys can feel free to let me know down in the comments if you'd like, or if you want to pray for her or give good energy out there in this situation. You know, let's let's put that out there because that's more important. We're all in this together, okay? So. I'm, and I wanted to give that disclaimer too because I want to make sure that you guys know my intention when it comes to me even sharing this reading. I wanted to be more helpful and not, you know, hurting anyone in any way, shape, or form. That's never my intention. So, um, Gabby's family, if you guys ever come across this video, please know that my heart and my intention is pure. I'm sending you all of my love. I've got candles burning for healing because we are in a crazy time in history and it's for anybody that might be suffering and struggling right now. And um, I'm sending you guys all of my love and I'm praying and I'm hoping for the best for you, for her, for everyone. Okay, so until then, you guys, I will see you next time. Bye.